What up, yo? This week we flowing down river with Mark Twain's Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Huck Finn and his main man Tom Sawyer sitting fat after that last adventure. But now Huck got to live with some crusty old widow who trying to civilize him. When Huck's boozed up daddy Pat swings into town, he snatches up Huck to live in his stuffy ass digs and tries to swipe all his cheddar. Sick of getting his ass whooped every time Pap sips too much of that crunk juice, Huck decided to fake his own murder and lay low on Jackson's Island while the law's patrolling. After chilling a couple of days on the island, Huck hooks up with Jim, a slave he knew from the hood, who done split after hearing his ass about to get sold. Since they both dug in the 5-0, they decide to team up and skip town. When our boys get separated, Huck finds himself at the fat crib of the Grangerfords, a family who've been beefing with another crew called the Shepherdsons for generations. These fools can't even remember why they busting caps in each other. And Huck straight flips when his boy Buck Grangerford gets iced over some bull <laughs> Then Huck and Jim rescue two shady thugs named the Duke and King as they running from the fuzz. These fools sliding from town to town straight hustling homies for their paper. Eventually, these shysters get real dirty and sell Jim to a bunch of plantation-owning crackers named the Phelps. Huck slides over to the Phelps spot to free Jim when a woman say, Yo, what's up, Tom? Tom? Turns out these cats are Tom Sawyer's aunt and uncle, and they think Huck is Tom. When Tom actually shows up, Tom tells Huck to play it cool, and Tom pretends to be his kid brother Sid. Tom comes up with a plan to bust him out like it's some kind of prison break, but just as they about to split, Tom gets capped in the leg and Jim gets got again. Uh. Next morning, Tom all like, look, bruh, Jim was actually a free man this whole time. So that escape plan, I was just playing. What the hell? A brother's freedom ain't no game, man. So Huck and Jim part ways and Tom's aunt offers to adopt Huck. But Huck is done with all this civil nonsense. So he decided to start trekking to some new turf. Open up your ears and get ready for some truth, son. By far the most throwed up symbol up in here is the Mississippi River. See, the river representing freedom. Not only Jim's freedom from slavery, but freedom from all the crooked shit always going down in the civilized world. But at the same time, the river also repping destiny. Cause it's the river doing all the shot calling, where they going, when they gonna get there, and what kind of jacked up they gonna find along the way. Now even though Huck thinks all that mess is whack, it ain't no thing to all them civilized peeps Huck dealing with. And as the only brother who keeping it real enough to see through society's bullshit, he gets mad lonely. When it was dark, I sat by my campfire, smoking and feeling pretty satisfied. But by and by, it got sort of lonesome. And so I went and sat on the bank and listened to the currents washing along and counted the stars and drift logs and rafts that come down. Only when Huck gets to know Jim does he find someone he can cheer with. And to Jim, ain't nobody ever had his back like Huck. That raft becomes the realest home Huck ever known. Cause when he on the shore, Huck seeing stupid shit go down on the reg. Hoods talking about glocking each other, families icing kids for no good reason, and his own daddy slapping them up. On the real, people can be dicks, man. And what's mad ironic is that even though Huck ain't educated, don't buy into none of that religious jive, and don't consider himself to be civilized, he the only cat who wise to all the backward ass nonsense of a culture that accepts all this. And worst of all, slavery. So when Tom's aunt offers Huck a place to crash for good, he says, nah, shorty, I'm straight. Huck don't want to be a part of the civilized world. He'd rather take his chances and slide to a new spot where he can create a better one. And the first step to making it a better world is by hitting that subscribe button. Peace, my well-read ballers.